In this video, we're going to look at how to use your GDC to calculate individual probabilities for the binomial distribution, um, but to save you having to do it one at a time, to do it all in one go. The problem we're going to look at involves spinning a fair coin four times, and the random variable x is the number of times the coin lands on heads. You need to calculate the probability for each possible value of x. So x could be 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. Rather than do five calculations, we're going to do that all in one go. So on your GDC, you need to choose menu item 2, statistics. And what we're going to do in list 1 is we're going to enter the possible values of x. So we're going to enter 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 and store those in list one. Then as normal, we'll calculate the binomial distribution by choosing F5 distribution, F5 again for binomial, and we're going to choose BPD. We're going to work out the individual probabilities for each one of these outcomes, not the cumulative one. So that's F1 BPD. And here you have the setup. So our data is a list. If you haven't already got that setup, then use F1 to change that to list. It will change automatically. If you click on F2, it changes back to variable. If you click on F1, it changes to list. Scroll down, and you need to see which list it is in. We've already got it defaulted to list one, but you can do that by again clicking F1 and setting the list number to list one. We then have the information about the distribution. So the number of trials is four. And the probability of success, well, it's a fair coin, so the probability of success is 0 0.5. And you're going to save the results, and you're going to save them in list 2, next to where you've got the results for list 1. If you hasn't already got list 2 displayed, click on F2, and type 2 as your list number, and it will be displayed there. That's our setup correct. We can now scroll down and calculate. And there you get your individual probabilities. But the great thing about this is if you press exit, and again, you have them stored in list two, and you can see all those individual probabilities at one time. 